You guys, I think there's a possum in my car. <gasps> How'd he get this cookie? As you can see, uh, we're experiencing snowmageddon. Uh, the power went out for a while. Now it's finally back on. I had two days straight with absolutely no power. Uh, I rehomed most of the rabbits, uh, but these are the two that I couldn't rehome because their ears are messed up. But that's okay because I love them. Uh, it's so cold outside that I brought the rabbits inside. Uh, and Poppy just happened to get in here in the garage. What? I guess I'll have to call an exterminator. Man, you know what? We'll just see what happens. I have a electrical cord running out here. And I made my own makeshift insulation. And I got this tent at Walmart. Now this tent, the goal of this tent was to keep uh, the Rhea insulated. And if you guys have been watching the uh, the TikToks, you know that I have two uh, beautiful Rhea boys, Karen and Kevin, but <gasps> who's that? Who's that? Oh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, oh, it's a young pog man. Poggers uh, chewed up my cord. So I tie it around his neck and then he gets annoyed by it. Uh, so then he knows not to chew my cord anymore. I've been eating nothing but chowder. And because uh, we have no water, we have no water, by the way. I've been eating uh, gulab jamun uh, chili. <laughs> Basically, I've just been uh, cuddling with poggers uh, two of the nights. I had no electricity at all, no heat, and it went down to 40 degrees. Uh, so, poggers, this young man, uh, hit rapper and artist the baby, uh, we all sat and cuddled in here. Uh, uh, I want to make a quick video, flex my uh, grandpa shoes on you guys. I got these at Ross for uh, 20 something dollars. I'll show you guys how I feed and take care of my animals during a global pandemic and national tra uh, travesty, I think it was called, uh, of the winter storm that's happening here in Texas. This is the only water I have and I don't like to drink it uh, because poggers, you know, his backwash is in there. But this is how I feed my animals. I fill up this gallon jug uh, that was spoiled milk. There's nothing in my fridge. I just have canned foods that I cook over the stove. Uh, hopefully, we'll be done today. Oh, look at this little bird. It's a pretty little thing. All right, Poggers, come on. And Poggers uh, doesn't like the snow, but he also loves it earlier. And if you see the last video that I filmed on my nice camera, I, uh, he was just running around going crazy, but it is snowing again here in the great state of Turksis. And I'll show you guys the setup. One of these uh, young teenagers did in fact pass away. I tried my darndest, I tried my best, but uh, one of them passed away and I don't know why. I don't know if it was because of the cold, but this is what I have to do. I have to take this, but I haven't named the teenagers. Give them a little water. I didn't really need that that much. But then I just pour their food in here. The biggest thing, you guys, is to give them a lot of food. Make sure that they have insulation and shelter on all sides. I have the ability to come up in here. These things are basically useless. They're frozen solid. I don't think there's even any food in there anymore. We're going to move on. Um, oh, okay. Uh, and if you can hear the ooh -hoo, that is our young man. Kevin. Uh, this is the last duck that we weren't able to rehome. Uh, his name is Darcidius. See how he has this injury here? People came by to pick him up and then they were like, no, we don't want him. And I was like, okay. And then I give him this, this nice gulab jamun and he loves it. But there's a lot of poop here. I need to put some more hay down soon. Kevin is getting either aggressive or he's attracted to me right now. Forgot that I have these buckets here. So I'm going to try out the Morgan Gold from Goldshaw Farm method to taking care of your animals. But yeah, guys, I'm an idiot and I didn't, uh, I didn't end up shutting these off uh, and insulating them. And when it went down to zero degrees, I'm positive that some of these hoses, we're going to find out whenever the things get hot again, but I'm sure at least one of those hoses must have burst. Not the end of the world if it did. It should be enough. All right, thank you, Morgan Gold. You're the one that showed me this. Appreciate you, love you. I know you watch some of my videos, appreciate you. And as you can see, the chickens are doing uh, reasonably well. They want nothing to do with the snow. So, uh, they've been smart. Nuggets, my little gal. Either we have been subject to predation 
Because like those are new eggs, but there's a lot of eggs that were here that are missing. Or they realized, wow, our eggs are frozen solid. So they just decided to stop laying. One thing I learned from a farmer friend is that if uh, you put some hay or just anything floating in the water, uh, it'll be less likely to freeze over really quick. So they actually don't need anything in there, which is great. So I can use this water towards something else, but it looks like they do need food. So what I do is I open this up, I grab a scoopy, I give some to my little nugget girl first, my wife, I love you nugget. And then I put, but that's it guys. We haven't really had a big issue with uh, predators or rats in here lately. Uh, oh, there he goes. Marking his territory. First yellow snow of the day. All right, buddy, get out of here. Go. Go. There he is. He's a good man. All right, yeah, but those eggs are not going to hatch, I don't think. And someone in the comments let me know if, if, uh, if frozen eggs will hatch. I don't think they will. Come on. Okay, so we got the duck. We got the chickens. We got the baby chickens. Uh, first, we, now we need to get Kevin. I think that might be a male. If I end up posting this before the other videos, I'm sorry. But uh, but the goal with these guys was we're moving, believe it or not, to Waco very soon. Uh, we found some land. Hooray! Uh, three acres, and that's plenty of space for these guys. Uh, we should be able to have all kinds of borbs, and Karen will be able to run around. Right now in the winter, you guys, they don't need a lot of space. They need to hunker down, and I don't even want them out here for that long. Uh, now, Ray are from South America, and there are certain parts of Argentina where it gets really cold, and they're, uh, and they're totally safe if they do this. I think that that water is frozen for the pigeons, but, um, but they, and they like to have a lot of space. But just like those chickens out there, uh, for short periods of time, particularly in the winter, not the end of the world if they have to be in a short space like this. These pigeons, uh, same thing. I'm keeping them in here for their safe. Foggers, can you get me the bucket, sir? Uh, can you grab me that bucket? Can you grab me? Foggers, the buckets. He sucks. He can't find good help anywhere. You don't have to put more water in here. I just have to crack this. Look at that. It's not like we're living in the tundra right now. It's not completely frozen. Whenever it's like down to 10 degrees, it was. Also, uh, Kevin attacks me on sight. So that's my favorite one right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I realized that this uh, was like an unprecedented thing that hasn't happened in like hundreds of years in Texas. This is my little system. Hoggers can get in here and I can get in here, but the Rhea can't. Uh, it's pretty perfect. I don't know how this grass is gonna do. I don't know if this orange tree is gonna survive. I'd be really surprised if it did. And look at their feet. They're just like dinosaurs, guys. Look at those feet. Look how incredible that is. So I'll show you the system I have for this. Uh, it must have just come untied. Put some hay in here whenever things get a little nasty. I also thought that it would be a good investment to buy this. It was like a 150 bucks. Uh, a, because I wanted to keep the Rhea alive. And this thing's really great because whenever it knocks over, it has an automatic thing that says, okay, stop working. So it will not work if it gets knocked over. Um, I'm gonna fill the rest of the water in here. Uh, I did have a hose. Araya just, how did I miss that? He must've just jumped that fence. This is gonna suck. The hose is definitely frozen. I have the hose coming in here directly and I have this coming in from the laundry room. Okay guys, see, it looks like they're shivering a little bit. Karen's already back out because they're too stupid. Oh, and then they go into the corner. That's the worst part. Okay, guys, where are you going? Are you trying to hide from me? And then they're like, no, no, we're not. And then they let me touch them and pet them and be all cute and nice to them. And then I get them to squeeze through here. And then next time around, they're probably going to do the same thing. Watch. Watch and learn. Okay, guys, are you going to... Walk into that same corner again? No, yeah, and this one's the one that jumped over thinking he's gonna do that again. Once one goes in, sometimes they all go in. That's the trick, yeah, okay. So that one, her name is uh, Plapa. Then there's Karen. And this one's name is, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. Uh, 
so we're gonna have to find out but I'm glad that they're back in. Then I just, I stake this down first. Okay, I did it. Then the last thing I do is I just tie this down with a little bit of paracord. As you can see, I can't see what you're seeing, but they seem pretty happy, right? I bet they got a little heater. This thing, believe it or not, is actually pretty well insulated. Um, but I did do a little test. Look at little Pog. This is the hay bale that I have for them. I don't think we need it. We got one more day. I'm gonna save that hay for when we really need it. Uh, he's good on hay. That's it, guys. There's really not that much going on here. You're not missing a whole lot. It has just been this for the last couple days. Leave a like and a, and a heart and a subscribe for Bertha and Bertha. They've earned it. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching my little video. Uh, thanks for coming here. Uh, Poggers and the kangaroo are now best buddies. I'm still working, believe it or not, but I'm conserving energy. <gasps> And I've been reading a bunch. So uh, thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. I'm going to get back to work because the lunch break's almost over. Uh, and uh, since we got power, we got to work. <laughs> got to make some money for these animals. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.